gang, good evening. Welcome into Fleming High School's We Set for a Pink Out match, the final broadcast Pink Out of 2012, airing on 104.7 King FM and live video online, ColoradoPreps.tv. I'm Ben Blackett tonight, the Fleming Wildcats hosting their senior night and parents' night, welcoming in the Marino Rams, where we were Tuesday night. Marino coming into this contest now 10 and 7, Fleming at 11 and 6. In past years, this has been a match that has been kind of a preview of a possible district uh, championship pool matchup with uh, two of the, the higher-ranked teams in Class 1A's District 4, but with Marino moving up to Class 2A this year, this is just a tune-up between two solid volleyball programs in Northeast Colorado as the Fleming Wildcats have played in the last six 1A state championships and Marino qualifying for state in 2010 and has always in Class 1A been one of the top ranked teams in the state but because of the way districts work out have not been able to make it out of districts as readily as Fleming has when you got to go against uh, four top ten teams and only two get out this year in the case of three there's always a good team that gets left home but that's uh, kind of the same situation Marino's in this year in Class 2A as well they've got Akron who are the defending runners up in the 2A classification, Yuma, who's been a, a big surprise. Holyoke, a pretty darn good team with a lot of height. And uh, then Marino, those four teams. And then you throw Burlington into the mix. <laughs> that is that is a tough 2A district, too, they're in. So uh, a lot of uh, good volleyball to be played. And I think this will be a nice test tonight. You know, both of these teams have had their trouble with consistency. Fleming at 11-6. and six, But when you look at their losses this year, they've got losses to Akron. They've got losses to Weldon Valley. They've got uh, a, a, lo a couple losses, I believe three losses to 3A teams. And they beat the number two team in the classification, the, uh, the Kalichi Buffs. So you, you don't know what you're going to get out of Fleming night to night. It's been a couple weeks since we've seen them on the airwaves. And uh, I I'm excited to see them tonight. Of course, you may not get a full gauge of this team early on because it is senior night. Their starting lineup is completely different. There are some players that um, are getting the nod tonight. Um, that aren't part of the regular rotation for the Fleming Wildcats because it is senior night and head coach Derek Herbert believes on that senior night um, and, and rightfully so you know these girls these seniors that have given a lot of hard work they may have been surpassed by some sophomores or even some freshmen for their spots uh, on varsity this year but uh, they deserve to get the opportunity to start and uh, re really take all that hard work they put in for the last really six years out here in Fleming and, uh, and and be honored in this one. And you've got to credit coaches who do that. Uh, and, and it's a little easier to say we can do that tonight when you're playing a game that is not in classification against for the Marino Rams. For Marino, they will be back to their regular starting lineup. They, with their senior night on Tuesday against Pete's, changed up their lineup a little bit. And uh, they'll be back to their normal lineup. Head coach Aaron Schmidt said, you know, if we can find the final 10, 15 points that we had Tuesday night against Pete's, we can hang with anybody, including the Akron Rams, who they play tomorrow night. Said, but if we do the first 175 or so points that we played in that match, we could get swept here this evening. So, uh, I mean, there, there's, there's a lot uh, on the line for a Marino team that already knows essentially who they're playing in districts. It's just a matter of where. Marino could be headed to Holyoke if they can't get the win and Holyoke wins two. Or they could host Holyoke. Wiggins would be the third team in that mix if they can happen to spring the upset on Akron tomorrow night or Holyoke gets knocked off in their final two games. Fleming knows where they're going after this match. They play Weldon Valley tomorrow night and that is a crucial game because the Fleming Wildcats in order to have a share of the regular season North Central League crown, need to win that one tomorrow night in Weldona, and they need to win that one, I believe, in a sweep in order to win the one seed in the district. I think there's still the possibility they take that one seed. I may be wrong on that. Um, Weldon Valley does have the better overall record, but Fleming would need to go to Weldona tomorrow night with the sweep. If it does go to overall record, um, Weldon Valley already has a North Central League crown locked up, but for Fleming, I mean, th this is a team that has won the North Central League outright for the last five years and has had a share of it for the last six. If they don't find a way to beat Weldon Valley tomorrow night, they will not have that crown for the first time in six years. This, uh, that, that is uh, pretty impressive what Weldon Valley has done this year, the top-ranked team in the classification, and pretty impressive the run Fleming is on. 
and, and just seeing this team. They played the North Central League Junior High Championships last week. Fleming again won, won both B and A. So Fleming's got a lot of tradition and a lot coming down the pipe as well as what is here. And we'll get to see it on display tonight against another tradition-rich program, the Marino Lady Rams. It's pink out night here in Fleming, and it is senior and parents night. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we will have the starting lineups and the opening serve, Marino and Fleming, pink out night 2012 on King FM and Colorado Preps TV. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Here's a simple math problem. What's 1 plus 1? 2, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, 1 plus 1 add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where 1 plus 1 equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Seeing live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday 9 to 4. Many lessons can be learned when playing high school sports. Teamwork, discipline, and trust in those around you, just to name a few. But maybe the most valuable lesson learned from high school sports is good sportsmanship. Faith Tabernacle Church in Marino wants to remind you, as a player or a fan, to display good sportsmanship at any event you attend this school year. If you're looking for something new, Faith Tabernacle has services Sundays at 10 and Wednesdays at 7. Faith Tabernacle, a proud supporter of the Marino Rams. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit the gold standard in ag lending. And welcome back to Fleming as we set for Marino and Fleming. Pink Out 2012, our final broadcasted Pink Out. I say that because Fleming fans will see another Pink Out in Weldon Valley tomorrow night as they will have theirs. Let's meet our starting lineups for this evening's contest. That means Shelby Canode needs to click enter on the computer. 
ColoradoPreps.tv is where you can see this. And our starters for the Marino Lady Rams, a 5'8 senior Allie Owens, a 5'8 junior Josie Dreyer, a 5'9 junior Kylie Mertens, a 5'4 junior Elsa Shino, a 5'5 senior Liz Thomas, and a 5'6 senior Shea Jackson. Libero, 5'6 senior Carly Casper. Head coach is Aaron Schmidt. And assistant coach is Shannon Gentry and Joe Schmidt, although Joe not present this evening for the Fleming Lady Wildcats and head coach Derek Herbert, assistant coaches Doug Camry and Connie Wilkening. They will start a 5'9 senior Genesee Van Duren, a 5'6 sophomore Rachel France, a 5'5 senior Brittany Meredith, a 5'8 senior Abby Kurtzer, a 5'8 senior Crystal Sheldon, and a 5'10 senior Taylor King. Their libero, 5'2 sophomore Megan Chintala. Chintala will be in the black jersey tonight. The... Uh, Volleyball dang near hit the computer there. That's why Shelby does not play sports. Because she still can't catch the ball. She's going to make the broadcast tonight whether she likes it or not. There we go. You can take it out of the hands, right? <laughs> the Fleming Lady Wildcats will be in the pink jerseys. They threw pink volleyballs into the stands tonight. And the Marino Lady Rams will be in the maroon jerseys. Before we head to the contest, I want to remind our fans on 104.7 King FM of a very special broadcast that will be happening tomorrow. No video for this online. It's not going to be able to happen, unfortunately. But you will be able to hear it on 104.7 King FM. I'm talking about Sterling Tiger softball. For the first time since 2006, they made the state tournament. They played Lamar at 12:15. And I'm going to be right there, just like I was in 04, just like I was in 06, to bring you Sterling Tigers softball tomorrow afternoon. They win. They play Valley at 2.30. They win. They play again in the semifinals at 10 a.m. Saturday morning. And we're going to be there as long as we possibly can. So the Fleming Lady Wildcats will start with a serve in this one, and they will start with a serve in the hands of one of the seniors. It's not part of the regular rotation. Crystal Sheldon, a 5'8 senior, getting the start. You see the pink on the video, and uh, you probably could see some of these pink out shirts from Sterling if you just stepped outside. They are uh, neon pink tonight. And Sheldon will start with a serve for the Lady Wildcats. She'll line it deep. It'll be fielded by Casper on the back row, chased down by Thomas, and then a free ball coming over from Casper. Popped up in the back row for the Fleming Lady Wildcats. France set far side, King, angle shot deep, dug out back row by Casper. Shoot set near side, Owen, she'll go off the block, diving dig over and out from the Fleming Lady Wildcats. And Marino takes the opening point 1-0 here in the first. Sheldon will exit, and McCall Edel will come on for her and then be replaced on the back row by Megan Chintala. And on for the Marino Lady Rams will come Mikhail Leachman. Back to serve went Shea Jackson. Ball be popped up back row, set down the middle, and the ball punched by Van Duren into the block at the net, kept in play, and freed over by Taylor King. Back set far side, the swing coming over the top of the block from Leachman, dug out back row by France, set onto the far side. Meredith to King, down and in for a kill. Brittany Meredith is kind of that setter that got surpassed. I talked on the pregame show about uh, some of these seniors that got surpassed when you had Rachel France and uh, who, who you're seeing come in now, Caitlin Bornhoff, to serve, make it to uh, varsity this year. She was that setter that kind of missed her spot, but Brittany Meredith getting the non to start here this evening. And Sheldon, or uh, Bornhoff, pardon me, aligned the serve down the middle, popped up back row, set far side, and over the top of the block goes Kylie Mertens, too big and out. And the Fleming Lady Wildcats take a 2-1 advantage. Meredith back to serve, not Meredith. Bornhoff back to serve, line down the middle, bump set near side. Leachman will knock it down the line, diving dig out by Chintala. Ball kept in play and free back over. Nicely chased down, far side, and a free ball come over from Owens. Popped up on the back row for the Fleming Lady Wildcats. Set up and a tip over the block by Jenea Daly. Dug back out and then hammered down by Taylor King to make it 3-1 Fleming here in the first. Bornoff will go back to serve once again. She'll line the ball down the middle, popped up high on the back row. Shoot set on to the near side, and the attack hammered into the net by Mikhail Leachman. That will make it 
Kornoff, the 5-2 junior, steps back with a serve. No line in short, popped up by Allie Owens. Shoots head down the middle in the attack by Owens. Nicely dug out back row by Chintala, but a lift ball on Bornoff trying to keep it in play. Well, in the run at 4-0 for the Fleming Lady Wildcats. And send back to serve for the Marino Lady Rams, Josie Dreher. Josie will line it short, popped up back row by Abby Kurtzer. Set down the middle for Meredith over the top of the block. Ball dug out by Liz Thomas. Shoot set onto the near post. The attack, Ali Owens off the block and down. Allie Owens with a nice swing right there. She had a nice match on Tuesday night. Never really took over a set like some other players did, but just that slow and steady consistency. Line serve into the net by Dreher. Will prevent the Rams from tying. 5-3 Fleming. Back to serve goes Taylor King. King knocks the ball down the middle, quickly popped up back row by Owens, set far side and arced over the top of the block. Dug out by Chintala, back row, back set near side and a free ball over by Meredith. Checked up high, back row by Casper, shoot set near side, Owens big swing, diving dig out by Chintala. Bornoff trying to set it, gets tagged with a lift. So the Rams will have another crack at a tie here in the opening game of this pink out. <coughs> Both teams have very tough matchups tomorrow. On the road, Owens with the serve for the Rams, lying down the middle, popped up, back row, and King will get the back row swing, arc deep, dug out by Casper, back row, Jackson will set near side, Thomas off the block, hopped up high, back row, popped up by King, and then the set to Abby Kurtzer, and she tips it into the net, and the Rams tag the tie. Allie Owens will keep the serve. Owens, floating the ball short, Dug out by Chintala, backs at near side Meredith over the top of the block. Popped up by Leachman at the 10 foot line, bump up high by Jackson and a free ball be played deep by Mertens. Dug out back row by King, set over by Bornoff, quickly chased down by Thomas. Back to Thomas on the near post, she'll put it over the top of the block, popped up high by Chintala. Short set down the middle, Kurtzer hammers it into the net and the Rams take a 6-5 lead. Had the lead at 1-0. Line served deep from Allie Owens. Once again, popped up by King. Back row, far side set for Abby Kurtzer. Big swing down and in. Kurtzer taking that nice shot to tie it up at six here in the opening game. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by Bob Mollendor and Daryl McCormick, your local independent associate AFLAC representatives. Peace of mind and cash. When you're hurt or sick, get to know quack. About AFLAC, call 522 2309. Arcing shot deep by Leachman. Dug out by the Fleming Wildcats and Edel's free over and out. Will make it 7 6. Marino, Elsa Shino on. She'll take the serve. Shino. Short serve near side will be popped up by Daly. Set over the net by Bornoff. Popped up for the Rams. Joust won at the net by Abby Kurtzer. Ball popped up high and Abby Kurtzer able to stuff it down onto the floor for the Fleming Wildcats. Will come Genesee Van Duren and Rachel France. And or, uh, France's serve. Field a back row. Thomas will get the re-attack. Angle back deep. Dug out backside. By Taylor King, far side, Abby Kurtzer with a big swing, dug out by Carly Casper, and Thomas will free it deep on the back line on the free ball. She was just trying to play it deep to give her defense a chance to reset, and she gets the kill. 8-7 Rams here in the opening game. Carly Casper steps back to serve. Casper, lining the ball short, popped up by King. Shoot set far side, Abby Kurtzer off the block, popped up high, keeps it in play. Chintala bumps set for a back row swing for King. Dug out back row by Casper, right into the radar zone. A Kurtzer block back, kept up high. Kurtzer a deep tip, popped up near the 10-foot line by Thomas. Reset to Thomas on the post. She'll bang it off the block. Edel keeps it in play. Chintala chased it down and a free ball over by Van Duren. Quick check up by Ali Owen. Shoot set near side. Thomas, big swing wide, too wide now. We're tied at eight as Abby Kurtzer steps back to serve. 
Service game also important, and also what's important is preparing for your retirement. Do that with Joel and Nelson Financial, 521 7800, the number to call. And make sure you work with the only certified retirement planner in the area. That's Joel Nelson and Nelson Financial. Line serve goes into the net for Abby Kurtzer. I want to talk about service game being important. Just ask Marino, who got pushed to five by the Pete's Bulldogs on Tuesday night. Lost the opening set 25 18 and missed nine serves in that set. An attack too wide and out from the back row of the Fleming Wildcats will make it 10-8 Marino. And back to serve once again goes Liz Thomas. Liz will step up and line a near side. Popped up high back row by Megan Chintala. Set on the near side. McCall Edel angles it toward the back corner. Miss Doug and McCall will get the kill. She'll be replaced by Crystal Sheldon to serve on the floor. The senior lines it down the near side. Popped up by Sheena on the back row. Jackson will set near side. Owens cross shot. Nicely dug out by Sheldon back row. Set up and Van Duren down the middle. She'll arc it deep. Chased down by Casper. Running bump set up. And then a flat free will be played deep by Mertens. Popped up high by Sheldon on the back row. Bump high. Far side. King. Big swing. Blocked at the net. Dig back over. Chased down by Sheena. Quick pop to the near side. Allie Owens with the attack. Down the line and in for a kill. Allie Owens making it 11-10 Marino, or 11-9 Marino here in game one. Class 2A team that in the Freeman rankings isn't even in the top 20 versus a Class 1A team in Fleming that is in the top five. At least last check, lines are into the net by Shea Jackson. On any given night, any player can have a great performance and have an off night. That's why you play the game. Those rankings, well, they will determine four wild cards to go to state. That's about all they'll do. Line serve far side, popped up back row by the Rams, and a back row swing will come from Mertens, dug out by Chintala. Bornoff will set far side, Jenea Daly with the attack deep. Dug out by Casper, near side, Owens with the attack over the block, popped up high, tip over by Taylor King. Quick check up by Liz Thomas, back into the block at the net by Jackson, and at the net, the ball, that's going to be four hits. Well, and it's going to go into the net anyway to make it 11-10, or is it 11-11? It is 11-11. Bornoff with the tied score, lines it down the middle. Fielded by Owens, set near side. Leachman over the top of the block, chased down by Chintala. Short set down the middle for King. She'll knock it deep, dug out by Casper on the back row. Back set far side into the net. Goes Leachman into the block. No, in the net. It was a four hit. Semantics, really. But it gives the Wildcats the lead. Bornoff will continue with the serve. Kelsey will put it short, dug out by Liz Thomas. Bumped up high, and a flat free will be played over by Allie Owens. Quick check up at the 10-foot line. Set down the middle for King over the block. Popped up by Owens. Set to Owens on the near post. Her attack rejected back too wide and out. Good tool off that block to tie it at 12. And hand the serve over to the Marino Rams and Josie Dreher. Josie will knock it down the middle, popped up back onto the Ram side, and the ball was misplayed at the net by Kylie Mertens. She tried to hammer a ball that came back over, would have been more suited to pop that up. Taylor King at 13-12 will line the serve down the far side. Dug out by Owens back row to Abby Kurtzer, and Abby Kurtzer pops it down 14-12. Pete's Farmers Cooperative has corn harvest all your needs at Pete's or Isla. They've got those two locations. Whenever you're passing through, maybe you're headed to Cabela's for hunting season. Don't forget about the 24-hour fuel at Pete's Farmers Cooperative in Pete's. Line serve, lift ball, ace from Taylor King will make it 15-12. Probably one more point before we see a Ram timeout if they can't quell this run right now. It's a 4-0 run for the second time by the Wildcats in this set now. Rams won't do a whole lot out of that. Taylor King will just hammer the serve into the net. So Allie Owens steps back to serve. Try to get the run back. She ran off three straight last time she was on serve. Ball floated down the middle. Popped up by Taylor King. Back row set far side. Abby Kurtzer off the block of the net and down. Good block by Mikaela Leachman to cut the lead down to one.
Marino versus Kalichi. Last Friday, Marino versus Fleming this Thursday. Try and get all these Northeast Colorado matchups for you on the airways. The ball's lined deep, popped up by Casper, set near side. Liz Thomas over the block, checked up high by Janaea Daly. Back row set for Taylor King. Her attack dug up by Casper, back row. And a flat free will be played over by Allie Owens. Dug out back row, set over the net, and down. Good alert play by Caitlin Bornoff, the sophomore setter. Junior setter, pardon me, to put it down. Brittany Meredith will exit, and Timmy Keisel will come on for her, and then McCall Edel. So Keisel now playing the middle position. The line serve goes deep from Chintala. Ball popped up high, back row near side, Liz Thomas. She'll top it over. Popped up by Janae Daly, short set down the middle. Hop in the net court was Abby Kurtzer. Ball chased down near the line, and a free ball back over by Mertens. Pancaked out by Chintala. Out of the net went Bornoff, but couldn't get a third hit. And the Rams will look for the tie on the serve of Elsa Shino on this Thursday night. Chino lines it short, popped up back row by Janaea Daly, chased down, and a back row swing from Taylor King gets down. There's not many players in Class 1A that can put it down from the back row like Taylor King when she's on. Sage Herbert will check onto the floor with Rachel France here, replacing Genesee Van Duren. So the Wildcats back to their normal rotation here in the opening game up 17-15. France will line the serve far side, too wide and out. And back to serve will go Carly Casper. Casper lines the ball down the middle, popped up back on to the Ram side, missed Doug on the front row, and it'll be a dig kill for the Fleming Wildcats, a complete misplay on the back row, and Marino misread it. 18-16 Fleming. Abby Kurtzer, shorts the serve far side, fielded by Carly Casper. Set back on to the Wildcat side, and Taylor King took that set from Shea Jackson and uh, put it down. A timeout will be taken by the Marino Rams. Timeouts are brought to you by Signal Graphics and the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center in Sterling. There for all your printing needs, business or event. Make sure to give Kelvin a call, 970-521-9000. Let him do the professional printing work for you. 1916 Fleming here on their pink out night. Still have those bagels from Panera Bread available for you to place orders. If I can have them by noon on Tuesday, that would be super. You can stop by the station and pick up your order for them. Find Shelby. She'll take your order. Find me. I will point you to somebody that can take your order because uh, Ben doesn't do a good job of remembering things most of the time. Or you can check out the South Plaza Sentinel. We've got the order form in there for you as well. Abby Kurtzer will step back to serve. Kurtzer lines up far side, feed it by Casper. Shoot set on the near side and the attack over the top of the block by Dreher. Chase down back row by Kurtzer. King far side, big swing, down and in for a kill. Taylor King with four kills in this set. Two in the last two points as her team up 2016. Kurtzer knocks the serve down the middle. Popped up by Sheena on the back row. Jackson slides that far side for Thomas. Her attack is dug out by Chintala back row. McCall Edel on the near side, over the top, and found the back corner. Planted that into the back corner in the second Ram timeout as the momentum has not been quelled. It's now 21-16 for the Marino Rams trailing. They've now given up a 4-0 run for the third time in this set. And back-to-back 4-0 -back runs with just two points in between. Fleming Wildcats will play Weldon Valley tomorrow. We were here for that one. The first go-around, and it was some pretty intense volleyball between, at that point, the number one and number three ranked teams in the state. 
I believe it's now number one and number five. Regardless, that'll be a fun one to go see. You're looking for a game to go check out tomorrow night? Yeah, that might be the one you want to go see. Go to Weldona. If you've never been to that gym, you'll enjoy it. Abby Kurtzer with the serve. Lying down the far side. Popped up high back row by Carly Casper. Set it up in the attack flat over from Al Allie Owens. Dug out by Abby Kurtzer. Far side swing from Taylor King. And she was in the net. The set drew her too close. So the second timeout ends the run for the Fleming Wildcats. But they have the advantage they need up 21-17. They can afford a side out the rest of the way. Liz Thomas takes a serve. Thomas will punch it down the middle, dug out by Shintala, set down the middle, and over the top of the block goes Sage Herbert. Dug out by Shino, set near side, Owens with the attack, too big and out. McCall Edel steps back to serve for the Wildcats. The dig over and out. That's an ace, and it's 23-17. Veronica Carr going to check on for the Marino Rams, the freshman. Big presence on the front row. Line served deep, popped up back row by Casper. Set up for Carg, 10-foot line, trying to get warmed up. Miss hit that ball, and it's 24-17. Quickly back on comes Dreher. And McCall Edel will try and lock set one in for the Fleming Wildcats. Edel lines up far side, dug out by Liz Thomas, bumped up high, near side Allie Owens over the top of the block. Ball chased down by France, bumped up by Timmy Keisel, far side swing, big deep from Abby Kurtzer, and free back over on the second hit by Allie Owens. Checked up high, short down the middle, Timmy! Down and in for a kill goes Timmy Keisel, and the opening goes to the Fleming Wildcats. By the tally of 25 to 17. Marina Rams held it early but couldn't close it out. And Fleming's up one game to none. Game two coming up next here on King FM and Colorado Preps.tv. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Marino Booster Club is a proud supporter of not only the athletes, but every student at Marino Schools. Whether they're kindergartners or seniors, Marino Booster Club supports them equally. All sports, events, and activities are supported by the Marino Booster Club. If you want to find out more about the Marino Booster Club and how you can join and support the Marino students the same way the Marino Booster Club does, you need to contact the Marino Booster Club by attending one of the many Marino Ram events. Marino Booster Club, a proud supporter of all students and athletes at Marino Schools. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts in Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Game one to the Fleming Wildcats, 25-17 as we come back to game two here in Fleming. Pink out night on 104.7 King FM and Colorado Preps.TV. Liz Thomas starting with the serve for Marino and lining it too big and out as the team switch sides. Marino now going left to right and the Wildcats now going right to left. Normal rotation back in here again for the Fleming Wildcats. They went to it late 
in the opening game after giving their seniors an opportunity to start. Allie Owens with a big attack on the far side. Chased down by Chintala. And uh, it went off the rafters and shot back her direction. Nobody else could chase it down. Okay, Leachman will check on at one all. And Shea Jackson will line the serve down the middle and get the ace. Shea Jackson struggled on serve both times. She took it in the opening game. That was a nice line right there to make it 2-1. Ball line deep, too deep and out. So following the ace with an air. And Megan Chintala takes a serve for the Wildcats. She'll put it down the middle. Popped up high by Thomas on the back row. Back set near side. Attack deep from Mertens. Dug out back row by Chintala. Bumped up high and a flat free over by Abby Kurtzer. Popped up on the front row. Set down the middle and then a punch over by Allie Owens. Far side. Can't be dug out cleanly. And Allie Owens will pick up the kill. 3-2 Marino here in the second. Mertens will go back for the serve. Pop down the middle, dug out by Kurtzer, set for Timmy Keisel, and Timmy Keisel has taken two swings at the ball and has two kills since coming in late in the opening set. Jenea Daly and uh, Caitlin Bornoff checking on. And Bornoff lines the serve into the net. So 4-3 Marino here in the second. Allie Owens will take the serve. Allie puts it down the middle. Popped up back row high by Abby Kurtzer. Chased down and a back row swing will come from libero Megan Chantala. Chased down by Carly Casper. Set far side. Liz Thomas over the top of the block. Dug out on the back row by Chantala. Shoot set near side. Jenea Daly lefty tip over. Popped up by Shea Jackson. Leachman sets far side. Another swing from Thomas. Dug out on the back row by Kurtzer. Near side, Daly will get another swing. Down the line she goes and put it in. Shania Daly earning her spot on that right side. Some nice swing she's taken here tonight. King will line the serve into the net. If Fleming expects to be one of the three teams out of 1A District 4. They have to serve better than what they've served tonight. Leachman will line it down the near side. Dug out back row by Megan Chintala. Big swing. Kurtz are off the block and down and in for a kill. Great volleyball teams that go to state. Fleming of the past six years have served well and have taken advantage of their opponent's service errors. Fleming has done neither tonight yet still finds themselves up one none. Timmy Kaiser with the serve, line down the middle, popped up by Shino, set on the near side, and the attack down the line from Mertens, too wide and out. There's two errors in a row for the Marino Rams, and Fleming needs to take advantage and take the early advantage here in game two, up one to none. Kaiser lines it down the near side, popped up by Shino, tipped into the block at the net by Shea Jackson, and a lift ball at the front row by Jenea Daly will tie us up at six. And the serve over to Carly Casper. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by Bob Mollendor and Daryl McCormick, your local independent associate athletic representatives. I want to make sure you're prepared for when you're hurt or sick. Don't just sit there and take it. Call 970-522-2309. A serve receive error by the Fleming Wildcats makes it 7-6 Marino. And Casper will step back to serve. She'll promptly line it into the net. Rachel France and Cheyenne Herbert check on. France will take the serve for the Wildcats. Knocked down the middle, popped up high, back row by Casper, set it up and tip over the block of the net by Thomas. Set on to the near side, Kurtzer with a nice wing, crawl on the net court, diving dig out by Casper. Ball can't be played out of the net by Thomas, and the Fleming Wildcats take an 8-7 advantage here in the second. So 
Serve once again down the far side. Piotr Baishino backs that onto the near post for Thomas. Nice wrap toward the post and attack deep. Bump up by Chintala and the attack from King. Angled deep. Dug out back row by Casper. Set onto the far side. Thomas over the top of the block. Dug out back row by King. Set near side. Kurtz are banged into the block of the net. Diving dig out by Herbert. And it goes too wide. Ties us at eight. Hands a serve to Liz Thomas. Thomas lines the ball far side. Popped up high back row by Chintala. Set it up in the big punch deep. Too deep and out from Herbert. And the Marina Rams have taken the lead their way. They'll try and get a nice little run here on the serve of one of their seniors. Thomas will knock it down the middle. Popped up by King. Back row set it up for Abby Kurtz or her attack. Hops the net cord. Checked down by Shino. Set for a back row swing for Carly Casper. Too big and out. So neither team able to take advantage of the other's errors so far here in the second. We stay deadlocked. Abby Kurtzer with the serve in 9 all. Puts it down the far side. Popped up back row. Shoot set far post. Allie Owens big swing. Dug out by Casper. Off the rafters. Tipped over by Herbert. And it goes down. That ball skyrocketed up off the rafters and straight down. And Herbert did the only thing she could do. And that's tip it over. Kurtzer. I'll knock the serve near side. Miss popped on the back row. Chase down and a free ball be played over by Dreher. Popped up high by Kurtzer. Set near side. King. Big swing. One arm dig out by Casper. Again attacked down by King. Dug out by Thomas. Set far side. No one's will punch it down the line. Chased down by Chintala. Set down the middle. Big swing near side to the corner and in from Sage Herbert. Planted it in the back corner. And 11-9 Fleming, Abby Kurtzer will keep the serve and promptly line it into the net. Shea Jackson will step back to serve as Mikhail Leachman comes on for the Marino Rams and Abby Kurtzer exiting for Deborah Kurtzer. First action Deborah's seen tonight. They'll go down the middle, misplay by Chintala. That's going to be an ace, second ace of the game for Shea Jackson, and we're tied at 11. Jackson knocks it down the far side. Soft pop-up by Deborah Kurtzer. Set it up for a back row swing from Megan Chantal. The libero hammers it into the net. 12-11 Marino. First run of more than two points in this second game. Jackson lines it down the middle. Miss popped on the back row. Chase down by France. And McCall Edel will hammer it down the line. Dug out by Thomas, who will try and get the free ball over, but cannot, as Owens misplayed the dig off the line dig from Thomas. And we're tied at 12. Chintala back to serve. She'll get an ace, and Fleming will take the lead back at 13-12. Put it right down the middle on a top, and not a whole lot the back row of the Rams could do there. It got on top of them before they knew what to do with it. Chintala lines in near side. Nicely popped up by Thomas. Set far side. Leachman with the attack. Hammered into the net, and it's 14-12 Fleming. Chintala flies up far side, popped up high by Owens, back set near side attack by Dreher to the far corner, dug out by France. Herbert will chase it down and a free ball over by Deborah Kurtzer. Checked out back row by Carly Casper, set far side, Ali Owens, big attack, down and in for a kill. Nicely set up by the Marino Rams, a quick dig off of what essentially was a free ball and the quick shoot set. You don't see that executed effectively at the high school level enough. Again, service air. Josie Dreher pounds it into the net. Daly and Bornoff on for the Fleming Wildcats. Marino wants to be one of the teams that advances out of two ways district two. They have to serve better than what they've done tonight. 15-13. Bornoff to line up far side. Dug out on the back row.
Bornoff back to serve. She'll knock it down the far side. Timeout will be taken here by the Marino Rams at 17-13. Timeout's brought to you by Pete's Farmers Cooperative. Pete's Farmers Cooperative there for all of your corn harvest needs, whatever they may be, call Phil at Pete's Farmers Cooperative. Two locations in Pete's and in Iliff to serve your corn harvest needs at Pete's Farmers Cooperative, bringing you this time out. 17-13, the tally here in the second. Fleming taking the first 25-17. It's a pink out night here in Fleming in our last broadcasted one. We had 10 schools be a part of the pink out this year. More than we've ever had. Uh, we've been very blessed. In a year where we lost our title sponsor for it, and we've had more schools step up than ever, and have been very blessed to give what we can give to the NCCRA. Eventually, I'll have a final tally, because we're still going. Lots of stuff that we are doing with the uh, Pink Out Bagels from Panera Bread. Still have the bracelets. Mr. D's will have all the T-shirts and bracelets through the end of the month. You can stop by there at Mr. D's Ace Home Center in Sterling. 17-13, Fleming out of the timeout. Ball bumped up high, and a free ball be played off the block of the net and down by Allie Owens. So Fleming able to run off some points there and create a little distance. Allie Owens needs a great service rotation here and now. Owens lines the ball deep, too deep and out. Abby Kurtzer will check back in on the front row as Taylor King steps back to serve, 18-14. Taylor lines it down the middle, fielded high by Allie Owens. And then a flat three played down the line by Leachman. Short set down the middle, Timmy Kaiser with the attack off the block. The net ball popped up high. Bornoff will set far side. Abby Kurtzer toward the back corner and dropped it down and in for a kill. Lead of five for the Fleming Wildcats here in the second. King will line the serve deep once again. Ball popped up on the back row. Set up on the far side and Thomas with the attack deep. Dug out by King. Shoot set Bornov near side. Daly with the big swing down and in for a kill. Absolutely on a roll right now. You want your business to be on a roll. You need to make sure you work with your business at Signal Graphics, business cards, posters, flyers, other business signage. You got an event coming up. You got to make sure they take care of you as well. 970-521-9000. Kelvin does great work and uh, I know does uh, great work for both businesses and nonprofits. So if you're putting on an event this holiday season, make sure you get the promotional stuff taken care of and let Signal Graphics do it for you. 20 to 14. Fleming with the lead. Marino's second time out. It's kind of what Fleming did in the opening game as well. Um, back and forth, back and forth. And then just found a run. A couple little mini runs. Nothing special. It was two 4 0 runs in game one. It's two 3 0 runs to this point here in game two. Taylor King will keep the serve out of the second Ram timeout. King lining the ball deep, dug up back row by Allie Owens, bumped up high and down the middle goes Mertens. She'll knock it deep nicely, dug out by King, back row, shoot set near side, Daly over the top of the block and found the center of the defense. Put it down for a kill. 21-14. King. Lines the ball deep, dug up on the back row by Allie Owens. Set far side, Liz Thomas with the attack. She'll put an off-speed ball down and in. Her fourth kill of the match. Ends the run, but not before Fleming. Has created distance to go up 2-none. Leachman with the serve far side. Lift ball ace on Timmy Keisel. Will cut the lead back down to five. Need Micaiah to have another great rotation. She had a great rotation. I think it was in the fourth against Pete's. Where she ran off eight straight on Tuesday night. 
She'll knock it far side, going right after Kaisel again, and again going to get an ace as the ball's missed Doug. Fleming uses their libero in a different position than what Kaisel can be in, as she is uh, a front row, and they're protecting on the back row. Attack down the far side for Fleming. Freed back over by Owens. Pancaked out by Taylor King. Set near side. Abby Kurtz are off the block. Leachman trying to dig it out. Cannot. That griddle's hot, but not too hot for Taylor King to get the hand down and pancake that thing out. Timmy Kaisel will now move to the back row. 22-17. Elsa Shino will check on. Timmy Kaisel will... Try and get Fleming. Another couple points here to take the second. Free ball come back over from Shea Jackson. Checked up high back row by King. Short set down the middle. Big swing down and in for a kill by Abby Kurtzer. 23-17. And Veronica Carr going to check in here for Kylie Mertens. Short serve near side from Kaisel and a free ball be played over by Allie Owens. Checked up in the back row by Taylor King. Back set far side, McCall Edel with the attack. Chicken winged out on the front row by Liz Thomas and a free ball be played over by Elsa Shino. Checked up high, back row by Kaisel. Short set down the middle, big swing by Kurtzer. Nicely dug out back row by Allie Owens. Set far side and a flat angle near side from Liz Thomas. Ball dug out back row back to the near post for Janea Daly. Off the block, ball kept up high. Set by Bornoff, ball blocked back down again. Edel will get set up far side, angled back, and found the corner. That set drew her nearly to the stands. She found the angle to get it inside the antenna. Marino got caught watching, and it's game points again at 24-17. Kaisel will line the serve deep, too deep and out. Timmy will exit. And back to serve will go Carly Casper for the Marino Lady Rams. Casper, lining the ball far side, fielded by Janea Daly, set up for Daly, 10-foot line swing over the top of the block, chased down by Casper. Back set to Shino, she'll free it down the line, chased down by King for Fleming. Set down the middle for Abby Kurtzer, hops the net cord. I don't know that it ever caught the block, and it drops on the Fleming side, 24-19. Casper will line it down the middle. Fielded back row for Fleming by Chintala. Set for McCall Edel. Down the near line. Too wide and out. 24-20. You're just giving Marino momentum. Even if they don't win this set, they're carrying a ton of momentum to the third. Casper lines at far side. Popped up by Chintala. Back row tipped over by Bornoff. Chased down on the far side. And a free ball over by Shea Jackson. Toward the back corner, quick pop up, short down the middle, big swing, Abby Kurzer down and in for a kill. Carly Casper could not get out of the way. So in spite of trying to do too much, Fleming finds a way to win the second 25-20. They're up 2-0. We'll come back to the third here in Fleming. Pink out volleyball action on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. These days, there's no free lunch, no free ride, not even any free time. Well, at Bank of Colorado, we're putting an end to all that. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection serve up a whole lot of free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, and more. Then when you add our personal free collection, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you want to bring back the free, apply today to open a new account. Visit bankofcolorado.com and long live free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Seeing Live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. 
You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, there is no purchase as is. Every vehicle on the lot comes with a complete warranty. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Many lessons can be learned when playing high school sports. Teamwork, discipline, and trust in those around you, just to name a few. But maybe the most valuable lesson learned from high school sports is good sportsmanship. Faith Tabernacle Church in Marino wants to remind you, as a player or a fan, to display good sportsmanship at any event you attend this school year. If you're looking for something new, Faith Tabernacle has services Sundays at 10 and Wednesdays at 7. Faith Tabernacle, a proud supporter of the Marino Rams. Twenty-five, seventeen, twenty-five, twenty. Two games to none. The Fleming Wildcats on top of the Marino Rams. I'm Ben Blecka back here in Fleming as we head to the third. Brought to you by Nelson Financial. Plan for your retirement with Joel and Nelson Financial. Make sure that you are taken care of for your retirement. When you're done playing your game, Joel, make sure you can keep playing whatever game you want to do next. Only certified retirement planner in the area in downtown Maine in Sterling. Abby Kurtzer will start with a serve for the Fleming Wildcats here in the third. Fielded by the Marina Rams, set near side. Big swing, Allie Owens down and in for a kill. That might be the best looking swing Allie's had the last two matches. She's had some pretty darn good looking ones. Rams take the 1 0 lead back to serve, goes Shay Jackson. She'll line it near side, popped up high, back row by McCall Edel and a free ball over by Chintala. Checked up back row by Casper, set on the near side and the flat free played over by Allie Owens. Dug up back row by Abby Kurtzer, set down the middle and the attack from McCall Edel, angle far side. Dug out by Casper, back row and a free ball be played over by Mertens. Popped up high back row, France set far side. King, big swing, hops the net. Popped up back row by Casper. Shoot set near side for the attack from Owens, hops the cord. Dug out back side by Edel, set far side and a tip over the block by King. Chased down by the Rams and a free ball over by Liz Thomas. Dug up back row by McCall Edel. Short set down the middle attack from Herbert far side. Popped up back row by Jackson and a free ball back over by Owens. Fleming side checked up high by Kurtzer. Shoot set far side. King angle attack down the far line. Dug up by Jackson. Back near side. Leishman will come for Owens. Her big swing. Dug out back row by Chintala. Back set for a back row swing coming from Abby Kurtzer. Too big and out. So the Marino Lady Rams take a 2-0 lead and keep the serve with Shea Jackson. Jackson lines it into the net. You got all that momentum going your way. Don't give it away on a service there. Edo will step back to serve. McCall lines it far side, feuded by Liz Thomas. Near side swing by Leachman will be dug up on the back row by Herbert. Re-attack back down by Allie Owens. And a free ball back over by Edel. Popped up high back row by Casper. Set on the far post for uh, Leachman. Tip down the line. Set on the far side. Big <laughs> hammer drop down by Taylor King. Make it 2-2. Two -two. Edel. We'll take the serve and line at far corner. Dug out by Thomas on the back row. Set up for Allie Owens down the middle. Her swing dug up. Bangs off the ceiling. The set attempt by Rachel France goes right into the radar zone of Allie Owens, and she hammers it down. 3-2 Marino here in the third. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Here we go. They changed who the libero was serving for. Carly Casper will serve for Josie Dreher here in the third. Ball line down the middle. Dug up back row by Chintala. Two-hit violation by Rachel France on the set. Makes it 4-2 Rams. Casper will step back to serve again. Carly knocks it short. Dug up back row 
by Abby Kurtzer and the attack banged off the block at the net and down by Sage Herbert. She'll exit for Bornoff who will serve in her place and Jenea Daly will check in on the front row for Rachel France. Bornoff promptly lines the serve into the net. It's frustrating to see so many service errors at this point in the season. Allie Owens knocks the serve down the far line, dug up by Abby Kurtzer. Popped up high, and Kurtzer with a free ball, short near the 10-foot line. Checked up by Liz Thomas, back to Thomas on the near post. Over the top of the block, and down she goes. Liz Thomas makes it 6-3 in favor of the Rams. And hands a serve to Allie Owens. Owens lines the ball short, dug up on the back row. Set up for Taylor King, her attack, angled back onto the Rams side. Popped up down the middle and the tip over by Mertens will be dug up back row. Keisel. Back far side for King. The attack dug out, set for Shino. She'll free it over. Popped up on the Fleming side. Dug up back row. Kept up off the block. And no, not off the block. That was off the net and a four-hit violation. Serve will come from Allie Owen. She'll line it far side. Ball missed dug back row. That'll be another ace. And the Marino Rams have taken an 8-3 lead and a timeout taken by Derek Herbert for the Fleming Wildcats. Timeouts brought to you by Pete's Farmers Cooperative. Pete's Farmers Cooperative has everything you need for corn harvest season and so much more. 24-hour fuel whenever you're passing through Pete's. See Pete's Farmers Cooperative in Pete's. Good start for the Marina Rams. I said they had all the momentum leading into this set because it was 24-17. Since that point, the Marino Rams have run off 11 points to the Fleming Wildcats Four. And they're doing it on a couple nice service rotations. Here in the third. Down two sets to none, however. 17 and 20. The first two went the way of the Fleming Wildcats. District volleyball action for both these teams uh, begins Tuesday. While well, Fleming will have to possibly wait till Thursday, depending on their result tomorrow night with Weldon Valley. We'll have coverage on 104.7 King FM of a lot of volleyball action next week. Stay tuned for all the info we're going to have for you. Allen served, fielded by Chintal, and a free ball be played back onto the Marino side. Dug up back row, set up, and the swing down the middle for Mertens will be popped up high back row for Fleming. Set it up for Kaisel, banged off the block, and comes up with the kill. Hands it served to Taylor King, trailing 8-4. King will line the serve down the far side, fielded by Shino on the back row, bumped up high, and a back row free will come from Allie Owens. Nicely played out by King, set up for Kurtzer. 10-foot line swing to the back line, too big and out. Elsa Shino will take the serve for the Marino Rams and line it down the far side. Popped up high by King. Set up for Kaisel to the back line. She caught that back line and keeps it a four-point game. She'll hand herself the serve now in need of a good rotation to avoid Marino continuing to gain confidence. You let this team stay in it. They've got the weapons to hurt you. Line far side, dug out by Shino back row. Jackson will set it up for Mertens, tipped off the block, kept up on the front row for the Marino Rams. Shino will set near side, Thomas angle far side, dug out by Daly. Set up in King, will angle it deep, dug out back row by Allie Owens. Back onto the near side, the attack by Thomas over the top of the block. Popped up by Daly, back down the middle for Abby Kurtzer, her attack, dug out back row by Carly Casper. Bumped up high and down the middle comes Mertens, near side, checked up by Bornoff. Set up Edel on a free ball. Will be played short by King. Dug up by Shino. Quick set near side. Joust at the net. Never really materialized as the set dropped quickly into the net. And Thomas trying to get it over. Could not. Lead cut down to 3-9-6 Marino. And Kaiser would continue with the serve. Timmy lines it down the middle. Too big and out. In spite of the fact the Rams are up, it's 
Still got to keep the foot on the gas. Mertens will line it down the middle. Field a back row by Chintala. Set far side. Big swing. Kurtzer dig back over onto the Fleming side. Set up far side. Kurtzer tipped over the block. And down it goes. Liz Thomas and Elsa Shino go down in a heap. Rachel France will step back to serve for the Fleming Wildcats. France lines the ball down the far side. Misplay by Casper. That's an ace and back within two come the Fleming Wildcats. May see an earlier timeout in this set for Marino just to make sure they keep the early momentum they've had. Lions serve far side. Casper chasing it down cleanly this time. Setting it up for Thomas. Her attack angled deep. Dug back over by France. Chino keeps it up in the air. Popped up high and the attack back deep from Thomas. Dug out back row by Chintala. Set for a big swing from Edel. Dug out back row by Casper. Back onto the Fleming side. Popped up high. Tip far line. Down and in for a kill for Sage Herbert. Lead cut down to one. And the line serve will go deep once again. Popped up high. Joust at the net. One by Fleming. Kept up by Thomas. And then tipped back onto the Wildcat side. Set down the middle. Herbert with the attack to the back corner. And in again. It's back-to-back -back kills for Sage Herbert. And the lead is now gone. Ten all here in the third. Looks at the scoreboard brought to you by Bob Molendor and Daryl McCormick. Your local independent associate Aflac representatives. Get to know quack about Aflac when you hurt or sick. Call 970-522-2309. Ball chased down, and the ball will be punched deep by Mertens. Chased up high by King. Set up for Kurtzer. Big swing by Abby Kurtzer. Down and in for a kill. It's now a 4-0 run for the Fleming Wildcats to take the 11-10 lead here in the third. Onto the floor quickly will come Veronica Karg. France with a serve far side. Popped up. Set for Karg near side. Her attack miss hit, but checked out. Kurtzer and then Edel will angle it back deep. Chased down by Carly Casper. Bumped up high and a free ball be played. Angled by Liz Thomas. Popped up by Abby Kurtzer. Set for Kurtzer on the far post. Hops the net cord. Kept up on the front row by Liz Thomas and misplayed the dig. Twelve ten lead for Fleming. It's now a 5-0 run. Ball knocked short on the serve from France. Back row set to Ali Owen. She'll angle it deep. Dug up on the backside. Back set and a free ball by Taylor King. Played short. Chased down by Shino. And Thomas trying to keep it out. Got drawn under the net. It's 13-10. And a 6-0 run for the Fleming Wildcats. France lines the serve down the middle. Shino will pop it out and then set it up for Allie Owens, who puts a nice big top down. Finally ending the run. And now before Fleming took control of this third, up two to none. Short serve will be popped up. Back row by Taylor King. Running bump set up in the far side swing for Kurtzer off the block. Dug out by Casper. Back row for Marino. Set up near side and the attack angled over by Owens. Chase down back row Chintala. Down the middle goes Sage Herbert to the far line and in. Third kill of this rotation for her. 14-11 Fleming. Abby Kurtzer steps back to serve. Line down the near side. Dug out by Carly Casper. Near post for Allie Owens. Banged off the block and down. Okay, Leachman will come in. You'll have Karg, Owens, and Leachman on the front row for the Marino Lady Rams. Jackson with the serve. She'll knock it deep, too deep and out. McCall Edel. Well line the serve down the far side. Dug back onto the Fleming side and dumped down by Taylor King. Lead grows out to 16-12 and a timeout taken by the Marino Rams here in the third. Sigma Graphics in the Broadway Plaza Shopping Center is there for all of your 
printing needs for your business or your events, business cards, posters, flyers, whatever signage or presentation you might need, they can do it for you. I've even seen them laminate some old newspaper clippings for a guy one time when I was in there. Do a lot of great work. You want to preserve whatever it is. I'm sure Kelvin will tell you if he can do it, and if he can't, he might know somebody who can. 5 to 1, 9,000. Sixteen twelve. Fleming in control of this one again. A little eleven four advantage for Marino to end the second and hit this third. And uh, then it just kind of vanished. It's that consistency I talked about in the pregame show. Each side has used a timeout here in the third as McCall Edel steps back to serve. Edel floats it deep, popped up high by Allie Owens' back row, set it up for Leachman, her attack over the top of the block and down and in for the kill. Carly Casper will step back and serve one of five seniors on this Marino roster. Casper lines it deep, popped up high, back row by Deborah Kurtzer, back onto the Marino side, punch back over. King misplays it in a free ball, be played short. Checked up by Casper, shoot set near side, Allie Owens, flat free will be angled over, diving dig out, back row by Deborah Kurtzer, far side set, Taylor King down the line and in for a kill. 17-13 Fleming as Daly and Bornoff check on. Caitlin Bornoff will take the serve. Knocks it flat down the middle. Dug out back row by Casper. Owens will be set up in the far side swing. Dug out back side. Bumped up high and a free ball will be played deep. Too deep and out for Fleming. Lead cut down to three, but they need a run. Do the Marina Rams. They can't afford just to side out or pick up a point here. They need a run right now from Allie Owens on the serve. Bornoff setting far side. Daly will punch it over. Great chance for the Rams. Back set far side. Leachman with the attack down the line, but too big and out. You get a free ball, especially that kind of free ball that comes up short on the front row. You've got to take advantage of it. Taylor King will step back to serve. King lines up far side. Lift ball ace. Make it 19-14 here in the third. King hammers it far side, fielded cleanly by Owens. Bumped up high down the middle for Mertens. She punches it into the block. Nope, into the net. So that's a four-hit violation. Make it 2014. Timeout taken by the Marino Lady Rams. Their final one. They find themselves down six once again. Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon, 12-15, I'll be live in Denver with the Sterling Tiger softball team. First time since 2006 they've been at the state tournament. They lost to Pueblo East that year, and I, that may have been the semifinals they lost. I know in 04 they lost in the semifinals as well. A lot of young players on that team. This team has got a good group of seniors that has carried them this far, and uh, those young players are going to hopefully keep that tradition going. I have a feeling this is the first of Many years to come, we'll be talking about Sterling softball on the third weekend of October. Twelve fifteen, one hundred four point seven King FM. I think I got lost in my thought there. That was what I was attempting to get the point across. King with the serve lines it into the net for Fleming. That'll bring Elsa Shino on to serve for the Marino Lady Rams. 2015, they trail. Shino serve popped up high back row by Keisel. Set it up far side. Abby Kurtzer with the nice cross shot down and in for a kill. Checking in to serve will be one of the seniors, Crystal Sheldon. She replaced Timmy Keisel. All the seniors got the opportunity to start tonight for the Fleming Wildcats and played quite a bit as well. Sheldon on service rotation. 
And she'll get the opportunity at 21-15 here. The senior punches it near side. Put it back row by Casper. Set it up. Liz Thomas rejected back at the net by Abby Kurtzer. 22-15. Just three away. As on to the floor for the Marino Lady Rams will come Madison Ray. Replacing Kylie Merton. Sheldon lines the ball far side, dug up by Sheno, back row, tipped over by Jackson and checked up by King on the front row for Fleming. Back far side, Daly, lefty down the line. Can't be dug out cleanly by Carly Casper. And Janaya Daly now has a kill with both hands. Random fact. 23-15, Sheldon. Knocks the ball near side, popped up by Casper off the back row. Set far side for Mertens, who returned, and she'll knock it off the block and in front of the back row for a kill. Maddie Ray was on just for the one rotation. As Mertens will step back to serve. All knocked down the middle, Fiat by Chintala, back row. Daly will set it up for Edel to the back corner, and McCall Edel will get the kill. So now Janaea Daly has... A left-handed kill, a right-handed kill, and an assist. All in this set. 24-16 match point. Back to serve goes Rachel France. On the match points. France lines it deep. Ball miss pop back row chase down by the Rams and freed over by Thomas. Misplayed by Edel, bumped up high and a back row swing for Taylor King. Caught the back corner to end it. Heck of a way to finish her career in this gym with a top kill from behind the 10 foot line and it's a 3-0 sweep for the Fleming Wildcats tonight. 25-17, 25-20 and 25-16. Back to wrap it up in three and a half minutes on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv. Whether you need an operating loan, real estate mortgage, equipment loan, or need capital for expansion, Premier Farm Credit has the loan products to meet your agricultural financing needs. Loan decisions are made locally by experienced professional lenders who understand agriculture. We invite you to compare your loan to a Premier Farm Credit loan. We're confident that you'll find our products, price, and value to be the best in the marketplace. Call me, Ryan Rasmussen, at 522-2330 for all your ag financing needs. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Marino Booster Club is a proud supporter of not only the athletes, but every student at Marino Schools. Whether they're kindergartners or seniors, Marino Booster Club supports them equally. All sports, events, and activities are supported by the Marino Booster Club. If you want to find out more about the Marino Booster Club and how you can join and support the Marino students the same way the Marino Booster Club does, you need to contact the Marino Booster Club by attending one of the many Marino Ram events. Marino Booster Club, a proud supporter of all students and athletes at Marino Schools. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Here's a simple math problem. What's one plus one? 
two, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, one plus one add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where one plus one equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Scene live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all of the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports we're community you're looking for a used car but you don't really tr- Three sets to none. The Marino Lady Rams fall to the Fleming Wildcats here on Fleming's Pink Out Night. Final home match for the seniors for the Fleming Wildcats as well. 25-17-25-20-25-16-9. Ben Black, you know, a, a shining night for the seniors here at Fleming. Their final match here at home as they'll play the rest on the road. Um, although they'll be up at NJC for their regional tournament after Weldon Valley tomorrow night uh, for their district tournament. Regionals could be at NJC or on the road for them, and uh, then state at the Denver Coliseum. Shining uh, performances always brought to you by Dr. Robert Patton, making the smile shine as bright as our area athletes' performances. Man for the job for the last 30 years. Make sure to get with Dr. Robert Patton to make your smile shine. Those seniors, that shining moment. Both play, Both teams had uh, two seniors that were also reliable for them tonight. For Marino, it was Allie Owens, and for Fleming, it was Taylor King. I thought played two very nice matches tonight did those two seniors and uh, both these teams you could see them move on to the regional round in their respective classifications uh, I think they are that strong um, as long as they bring their game to that consistency reliable former brought to you by reliable plumbing 18423 highway 6 in Sterling Georgia and Kerr reliable hence the name plumbing and heating problems call 522 5592. So that'll wrap up our broadcast tonight on ColoradoPreps.tv and King FM. Tomorrow afternoon, 1215, live from Denver Sterling Tiger Softball. First time since 06 there at State. We'll be there for coverage of that, and we'll have both Fleming and Marino in the district tournament next week. So stay pointed to our Facebook page, and we'll let you know what we're going to have on air and online. For Shelby Canode running things here on the computer broadcast, I'm Ben Black of the Fleming Wildcats winning a sweep over the Marino Rams on King FM and ColoradoPreps.tv.